New at 10, they are back. Yes, they are. At least part of the large herd of elk. Officials relocated to the mountains from the Salt Lake Country Club just a week ago, and they have made their way back to the golf course. New specialist Debbie Worthen on the story for us tonight. Debbie, what's the response from those involved here? Well, neighbors have been fascinated by the whole thing. They have videos, they have pictures, and one family even named one of those elk that spent the last few months in their backyard. I wake up every morning, I look at where are they today? This morning, I probably saw about 35, 35 or 40. I'll run number nine. In all the time Robert Richards has lived here. Never seen elk, ever. Not in the 25 years I've been here. That all changed this winter. <gasps> Nellie, what's walking? His family has loved watching them and their habits. They follow a specific matriarch. It's not one of the bulls, it's one of the matriarch that, that makes all the decisions. We actually had an elk that was living back here. John Leone and his family got to know the herd too. We named her Gladys. Leone assumes Gladys was with the herd that got relocated last week. Richards watched the Chopper 5 video of the herd last week as crews worked to move them back up the mountain, a move that didn't last long. They were off for about four days. Now the rest of them have come back. Richards says the golf course has made some changes. They said they put a a bigger fence up where they had come through before. He doesn't know that it's helped and says it will be a while before anyone knows the real damage on the course. There's areas where they've lifted up, I mean, large quantities of turf. What the neighbors do know? They're back now. Yes, they are back now. Now, I talked to the head of that relocation program. He said that they know that the elk are back, at least half of them at this point. They are monitoring the situation every day. So it's not that they're not doing anything. They just don't want to keep moving those elk back and forth. So they'll wait to see what happens with the weather in the next couple of weeks, and they'll just play it by ear.